This is part two of the option wheel strategy using a small account. In this video, you're gonna find out if I lose all my money or if I walk away with 50% profit. I took the information and experience that I shared in my 150 videos from a YouTube channel and created a course to help people sell their first covered call. You can get free access to my course by visiting my website, coveredcallincomegeneration.com. Recall from part one of this video series, Option Wheel Strategy Using a Small Account, my challenge was to execute a wheel strategy with only $300 in my trading account. So I don't have thousands of dollars to start with, but is it even possible to implement an option wheel strategy with only $300 to begin with? So in part one, I described the inner workings of the wheel strategy, how the output of the first activity feeds the input of the second activity and then that output returns as an input back to the first activity. This repeating cycle of outputs and inputs is what creates the wheel strategy. And with each iteration, the option trader continues to make money at the conclusion of each activity. If you haven't had the opportunity to see part one of this mini video series, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check it out. Part one concluded with me selling a cash secure put and then on the expiration date, I was fortunate enough to have the shares assigned to me. So I got the shares I wanted and I paid a reasonable price for them, but I also got paid a premium for selling the cash secure put option, which is more money in my pocket. I also provided in part one, a simple worksheet that I filled in to capture the details for each of the transactions that I execute as a part of this option wheel strategy. Now I won't walk you through it now, but for those of you that are interested, go ahead and watch part one because I introduced the layout and the values associated with the first activity of selling the cash secured put option. Now that I've summarized the activities that occurred in part one, it's time to move on to part two of the option wheel strategy. Just for background, I'll give a quick 30 second overview of how selling a covered call works. The other half of an option wheel strategy is part two, selling a covered call. Now that the seller directly owns 100 shares of stock ABC Incorporated, they can sell a covered call option contract using those shares as collateral. Now an interested buyer that wants to purchase the option contract will pay the premium to the seller for the option contract. And if the option contract gets exercised, then the seller's shares that were reserved as collateral will be assigned to the buyer. And in return, the seller gets paid for those shares. Now we're all caught up and understand what the next step is. It's selling a covered call. On July 1st, 2021, just under two weeks after I concluded selling the cash secure put, I utilized the shares that had just been assigned to me for the Uranium Energy Corporation, stock symbol UEC. Now after reviewing the option chain, I decided to pick the expiration date of August 20th of 2021. And I used the $3 strike price, which at the time paid me 20 cents per share in premium. Now let me walk you through the process of selling the cover call so that you can see the steps up close. I open the trading app on my smartphone so that it'll be easier for you to follow along. Now I'm linking up the stock for Uranium Energy Corporation. So to submit my sell order, I press trade and then trade options. Next, I choose the expiration date of August 20th. After researching the company fundamentals, the stock chart and other related information, I decided to select the $3 strike price, which at the time was paying 18 cents per share in premium. This looked good to me, so I started to put together my actual sell order. As I only own 100 shares, I specified one contract. Next, I specified a limit price of 20 cents per share because I wanted 20 cents per share in premium for selling this option contract. Next, it's time to review my order. So I'm agreeing to sell 100 shares of symbol UEC at $3 per share on or before August 20th. After reviewing my sell order, I submitted it to my broker where it was received and placed in the open market and made available for a buyer to purchase. Now later that same day, my option contract was filled when it was purchased by a buyer that agreed to the terms of the contract. I'll open up my account history so that we can take a look at the details of the actual transaction record. So I'm selling a covered call for stock symbol UEC with a $3 strike price and an expiration date of August 20th of 2021. Now I submitted this order on July 1st and it was filled later that day at 12.33 p.m. Pacific time. Now when this option contract got filled, it was paying 20 cents per share. And after the buyer purchased it, I received $20 premium as a credit deposited immediately into my trading account. 
I've updated my worksheet with this latest transaction. Let's take a look. So on July 1st, for symbol UEC, I sold a covered call. And that option contract had an expiration date of August 20th, which meant the length of this option contract was going to be 50 days. Now, as a part of that option contract, I selected the $3 strike price, which at the time was paying a premium of 20 cents per share. So when the buyer purchased this option from me, I received a $20 premium payment, which showed up immediately into my trading account. And that $20, that represents a gain or a return on my investment of 6.67% based upon the value of the shares that I had put up as collateral for this covered call. Next, let's take a look at the daily chart for symbol UEC. And I'm going to focus on the expiration date of August 20th of 2021. And just as a quick reminder, the strike price for my covered call was $3. So on August 20th, the stock closed at $2.05, which is way below my strike price. So this option finished out of the money. And the option contract expired worthless. So now what do I do? This option contract that I sold expired worthless. It's actually okay and very normal. As option traders, we're going to use this to our advantage and get paid twice. And I know that receiving double the income is a good thing for anyone. So what's next? What am I going to do? I'm going to sell another covered call using those same exact shares. And that's exactly what I did. So using the same shares of UEC that served as the collateral for the first covered call, I'd plan to use them again as collateral to sell a second cover call. So a few weeks later on September 13th, I sold another covered call for Uranium Energy Corporation stock symbol UEC. Now for this covered call, I chose the September 17th expiration date making the duration of this option contract only four days. And as for the strike price, well, I selected the $3.50 strike price, which at the time was paying $0.25 cents per share in premium. A few minutes after submitting my order, a buyer purchased my option and this order was filled. So I opened my account history so that we could take a look at the transaction details for the second covered call option. So I sold a covered call for symbol UEC, with a $3.50 strike price and an expiration date of September 17th. So I submitted this order on September 13th, and the order was filled later that morning at 6.43 a.m. Pacific time. Now at the time the option contract was sold, it was paying $0.25 cents per share in premium. And when the buyer purchased this option, I received $25 as a premium payment, which showed up as a credit deposited immediately into my trading account. So I updated my worksheet with the information from this transaction. Let's take a look. You can see the new entry for September 13th for symbol UEC where I sold the covered call that had an expiration date of 917, which meant the length of this option contract was only four days. Next is the strike price that I specified, which was $3.50. And the amount of premium that was being paid was 25 cents per share. So when the option contract got filled, I received the $25 premium credit into my account and that $25 represents a return on my investment of 7.14%. Now because I'm recording this video before the expiration date, I obviously can't share with you the outcome of the latest covered call that I just sold. But I can share some interim numbers about my option wheel strategy that I'm executing. First and probably the most interesting number is the amount of money that I've made so far. When we take a look at the numbers, we see that I've received three premium payments totaling $60. And as far as time goes, 108 days have passed since I first started this option wheel strategy. So let's take a look at the numbers so far for this option wheel strategy. When I started, my account only had $300 available. As of today, my profit so far has been $60, and that's from all the premiums that I've collected. So as of right now, the time I'm recording this, my return on investment is 20%. This option wheel has been running for 108 days. Now, if I'm able to maintain similar returns going forward, that would mean that I could achieve annualized returns easily over my 50% goal. Get my free course where I show how I generate an income using covered calls. Just visit my website, coveredcallincomegeneration.com. If you like the information about my stock picks, then consider joining my Patreon, where I share exclusive videos of my stock picks every week that I'm going to be using for profitable trades. I also include my research notes, stock analysis, and trading strategies for every stock I pick to watch for that week. And of course, all my videos posted on my Patreon are ad-free. There's one last thing before I end this video. 
Now, making profits and generating an income from option trading is a great thing, but keep in mind that all gains made from trading are considered income and are subject to applicable tax considerations. So every month, I save a portion of the profits that I earned in order to pay for my federal and state taxes. So please consult with your CPA, licensed financial advisor, and or tax preparer regarding the tax liabilities for your unique situation. If you're still watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I also want to wish you good luck and lots of success with all of your trades.